Hey Aquarius, welcome to your November 2022 Tarot Monthly. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In these monthlies, your girl likes to get really nosy and I'm gonna look at your love life, your career, finances, and spiritual development all in one video. I will be pulling a 10 card spread using the Tarot of Dragons for all of you tarot deck collectors out there. I will be clarifying further with my Mystical Cats tarot deck and closing out your read with a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. All information about the decks I use Use is always in the description box below. Now I already pre-shuffled, I'm just going to give it a couple more goes and we will begin. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius today? What is the energy surrounding their entire month of November 2022 please? Regarding work, money, love, family, all of the above. What's going on with them? Oh, and welcome to my channel, Baddison into the Tarot. Happy to have you. Ten card spread, one more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Aquarians. First card out we have is the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy coming through. Next up we have is the Ace of Wands. Nice. A lot of you guys have something exciting on its way. Whether this is being re-inspired in your business with that King of Pentacles or this is a passionate new connection with a love interest or a personal goal of yours. It looks really good. We have the Page of Cups, water energy. So someone wants to talk to you and they're coming in with a very sweet energy. We have the Five of Swords for what spirit wants you to focus on this month. We have the Six of Cups coming up in your love position and Leo got this card in the exact same position as well. So some of you guys could be connecting with a Leo this month and, it, and if that's not the case, maybe you met someone during Leo season. We have the Ace of Cups as the influence to your love situation. So this, you're starting something new here, okay? Queen of Pentacles for your career position. This is Earth Energy. And now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords in regards to your money. So there's something going on, all right? Because it looks like you're gonna be making some good money this month, but there might be um, some sticky fingers. Whether it's family, friends, a love interest, someone wanting to borrow money off of you. And your advice, the five of wands. Your potential challenge this month, the queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and your overall energy on the bottom, the king of swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what I just noticed right away, Aquarius, spirit wants you to focus on the five of swords, right? Which is all about deception, lies, gossip, you know, fake supporters. And then your overall energy shows me the king of swords. You see how you're this badass dragon perched on this rock? If you, if you look closely at the rock, there is an indentation of a sword, but the physical sword is actually missing. Where did your sword go? Where did your sword go, Aquarius? And spirit really wants you to focus on finding that sword because someone took your sword. Whether someone is taking away the trust that you built with them, whether someone is giving you false, you know, a false narrative, you're missing the truth of something. And Spirit really wants you to spend the month of November finding that truth before making any major decisions in regards to perhaps your love life or your money. It feels, it feels business related. All right, it does feel business related. Like maybe family members are seeing you um, get a lot of success in your money and they're asking for money and saying it's for one thing but finding out it's for another or you're, uh, you have a romantic interest that might have you know, a spending problem and maybe hitting you up for a lot of money, okay? But regardless, you've got a lot of new beginnings here with that Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups and someone wanting to talk to you and they're being very sweet to you, but I wanna find out more, okay? There's something going on here. But all in all, your month looks pretty good. It's just you have to be very discerning about who you're talking to is what I get, whether it's a, a gossipy coworker um, or, let me just clarify. Can I get a card on that Five of Swords? I just want to rip the Band-Aid and go for that card first. What is this Five of Swords about for Aquarius this month? The Ace of Wands. And I got the Ace of Wands right here. Okay, some of you guys are connecting with someone that is trying to start something new with you 
and they're not being completely upfront and authentic about something. Whether they're they're painting this narrative that they are successful, you know, well to do, you know, a very like, you know, painting a picture of themselves that is not who they truly are, right? And maybe maybe saying everything that they know you want to hear but not what you really need to hear for some okay and there's the lovers card with the king of swords and again you're showing up as the king of swords you're too smart for that aquarius you're way too smart for that with you coming up as the king of swords two times and look at your facial expression all right and you see how your heart chakra is rested up against that snowy ice branch you know how to make rational decisions without getting emotions involved right you're you're very good at reading a situation um, without you know getting lost in romance or lost in the fluff of it all right even if it's a family member um, there's just this energy of someone wanting access to you because they're attracted to you, have romantic love for you, or see you making a lot of money this month with that King and Queen of Pentacles. And you know not to get lost in the, the love of it all and make some important decisions that's for your highest good. But it does feel romantic with that lover's card coming in, right? It's like someone is saying all the things that they know you would want to hear so that way they can be in your life, okay? For, for some, it, it feels like it's a past person coming into your life, and for others, you have someone new coming in, right? Now, I don't want this to be a love-only reading, so I'm going to start clarifying um, my other positions, and then I'll get to the love aspect and see what where it connects with this. Okay, can I get a card on that King of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. Can I get a card on that King of Pentacles? You're in a very secure position in this month, and it feels really, feels really good. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Anytime I get a card that clarifies the card that I um, was already clarifying, that's a validation that this is really on point right with the king of pentacles clarifying the king of pentacles i'm pulling on an aquarius that is in a really stable position whether this is pertaining to your living situation your your career your personal stance on your relationships you're coming in as someone very grounded and very stable and you really can't manipulate someone that is this grounded and stable so with you coming up as a king like four different times you're showing me that you are really in your masculine energy this month, regardless of your gender. And you're just, you've got a lot of control over your situation. You're not someone that is wavering. You're not someone that can be easily persuaded is what I'm getting. And I like it. And you're not shy with cutting people out of your life. If you feel like they're coming at you sideways, right? You're this cat right here and there's that bird and you're like, get out of my way. I don't feel like you have good intentions for me right and look the seven of wands is right underneath that you being very you know sure of yourself and confident and then there's the emperor okay what is this ace of wands about for aquarius what is this ace of wands about what is this ace of wands about for aquarius please the seven of cups you've got options opening up for you aquarius and it's going to be up to you to decide which one is going to be for your your highest good and which one is going to feel like a harsh lesson right and you're going to make a decision and you're going to move forward in a very confident way with that chariot some of you guys are traveling okay and for others if there is a past person trying to get back into your life you're gonna close that down with that ten of swords and focus on new new experiences what is this page of cups I mean, the Page of Cups is sometimes a, hey, I've been thinking about you. How have you been? Sometimes it could be, hey, I miss you, or I'm sorry if there's an apology, or it's someone brand new that's got a crush on you. What is this Page of Cups? What is this? The Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is someone that is feeling very jealous about something, or is competing for your attention with that five wands to the ace of swords all right and wants to talk to you in a big big way and we already have the five of wands as your advice all right fight for the truth fight for your position fight for what you stand for don't back down all right um yeah i feel like this is this is really coming in as a heavy like 
family, romantic love situation for you this month, all right? Your money and everything else is looking really good. Something really secure is opening up for you, but it feels like family and relationships with other people are gonna be playing a very pivotal role in your life this month, all right? Whether, it, it feel, for some, this is a sibling coming back around, trying to bum off money off of you, and you're like, no, I already gave you money, and you never paid me back. What is the Six of Cups? The Page of Swords. Someone from your, Past with that Six of Cups has been watching you with that Page of Swords, watching you do really well for yourself, watching you perhaps talking to someone new romantically and trying to, you know, try one last attempt to get you back in their life. And you got a decision to make Two of Swords, but you're making it from using logic versus your heart, okay? What is this Nine of Cups about? I mean, this Ace of Cups, excuse me. What is this Ace of Cups about for Aquarius's love position? What is this Ace of Cups about? What is this Ace of Cups about? The Knight of Pentacles, you have a stable person here that wants to offer you something long term. Whether you're meeting them for the first time in November or you already know this person and you guys are really building something very, very, very solid together, they're, they're coming towards you with a stable um, opportunity, okay? And you've got this past energy that's like, no, 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 wait, please don't move on. Please don't move on from us, okay? And you're wanting a new experience with that full energy. You're not wanting to hit the reset button and restart something with a past situation. You're wanting a whole new experience where there is no like, and then I got the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Clarify that Seven of Swords, please, for their money. Clarify that Seven of Swords for Aquarius's money. It's like someone's watching you doing really well for yourself and may take this as an opportunity to come towards you. Eight of wands, and then I got the six of wands on the bottom. Some of you guys could be in the public eye with that six of wands. Okay, moon. Can I get another card on that seven of swords? Can I get another card on that seven of swords? The hanged man and the queen of wands, two of cups. Yeah, you've got someone in your life that's, you know, very attractive, very confident, that may not be coming towards you with truth and honesty right now, all right? And you're gonna have to weigh out what to do here, okay, with that hangs man. You're gonna have to like self-sacrifice your feelings for this situation to gain higher clarity about what to do here. There's a lot of communication back and forth with this person, Eight of Wands. Um, they see you getting a lot of attention with your money, so you might be getting unexpected income this month, finding new streams of revenue, or you're very vocal about what you bring in regarding your finances with that Queen of Pentacles, and they really wanna have access to it. Okay, it feels like a soulmate though. Soulmates can be anybody. They can be our best friends, they could be a coworker, they could be a lover. They are someone that helps our souls evolve and grow and they're a part of big lessons. What is this Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius's money and career? Six of Cups, look at that. It brings me to the Six of Cups for your love situation. Someone seeing you doing really well, looking very stable, you know, taking good care of your home and looking like you're uh, just in a very, like, really good place, well off, okay? Well off in your, your definition. And someone's like, man, I should have treated Aquarius better or is trying to, like, have access to it. Can I get a card on that Queen of Cups? Why is that in the challenge? Someone's being emotionally manipulative to you this month and you're not buying it. You're not taking the bait. Ace of Cups. High Priestess. Someone from your past is trying to return and offer something new. Meanwhile, you already have something that you're working towards with somebody else. Okay, and this High Priestess is telling me that you will find the truth that you need very, very soon and you're gonna make a very balanced decision with that temperance card major for Sagittarius after you get the insight that you're looking for. Wow, so this is a very interesting, a very interesting uh, monthly. Wow, look at what I open up to. I said wow too many times. Look beyond the surface and push to the surface. I open up to both of those, right? 
Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth to the world. Yeah, don't look at the surface level of a situation. Look at the underlying motivation. Someone's trying to be an opportunist with you. And then push to the surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Be become aware of the dynamics in your life. All right, so some of you guys may have become complacent in something where any bit of change or inspiration is enough for you to be like, you know what, I'm gonna take that opportunity, even if it's someone from your past that's not good for you. It's like, oh, at least this is something, all right? And I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna outsmart someone this month. It just, it feels like it could be a family situation coming back around or an ex, seeing you doing good, seeing you move on with your life. Okay, so take it however it resonates. If this reading helped, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below this video. Later Gators, love ya.